Hello, welcome to IF. In this video, we take a look at numerology. As the new year approaches, what can we expect? What can the numbers tell us? Can we trust numerology? And is there proof that the predictions will come true in 2018? And talking of 2018, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos in the new year and beyond. So let's take a look and see if numerology is true. Numerology comes in many forms across many cultures. In these systems of varying beliefs, practitioners attribute numbers with special power. This power often used to predict future events. Astrology, tarot and even the Hebrew Kabbalah are closely linked with numerology. The numbers 1 to 11 and 22 are considered highly important by numerologists. They believe these numbers can show positive and negative personality traits. For example, the number 1 is said to represent someone who is domineering, whereas the number 5 is said to imply a free soul, a person who is easily restless. The standard numerology graph is an alphanumeric table. This graph gives a number for each letter. Using this graph, words like a name can be changed into a number value. These numbers then used to make predictions. So what predictions are there for 2018? Here are some numerological predictions month by month. In a year that has already had a barrage of information, both false and factual, as its most significant influence, January and October peak in this regard. Long hidden facts come to the surface, secrets are revealed and high ranking people are exposed during these months. February, May, June and November are particularly vulnerable to natural disasters as well as upheaval in the financial markets. April has its focus on everything regarding labor, expect strikes or other labor related unrest. March and December are centered around the abuse of freedom nationally and internationally as well as breakthroughs in bringing freedom to places where there was little previously. There will be rapid change and much unrest. September and November bring emotions and passions to the surface causing considerable upheaval globally. So how were these predictions made? What numbers make 2018 a year of upheaval, unrest and change? It is claimed that 2018 is a 2 universal year, reducing from the number 11 because 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 8 equals 11 and then you have 1 plus 1 equaling 2. With the sensitive, finely tuned, emotionally conscious 11 behind this peace loving 2, you can count on an emotionally charged year that touches our hearts more than previous years. Passion dominates in 2018, which is good when driven by positive forces, but not so great when the negative powers are at play. Most importantly, no one gets to sit on the sideline without being affected by these changing times. With a 4 at the top of the numerological chart for 2018 and a 5 at the bottom of the chart, chaos rules. So things aren't sounding too good. Should we worry? Well let's see if numerology is accurate. It seems that this form of prediction is given more credence than say a crystal ball. This may be because of its age dating back to ancient Greece and its ties with the Greek philosopher Pythagoras. It is however no different from any other form or practice used to try and divine the future. Numerologists can produce a reading for you just as astrologers, biorhythmists and psychics can. These readings are often seen as accurate and amaze people but there is something else at play here, selective thinking. When people receive a reading they may find themselves ignoring the parts that don't fit their life and focus on the parts that seem to fit. They may actually fit or they may fit in a preconceived image of how a person would like to be. If the reading has information that fits, people may fall for it, believing the future has been seen. But there is no evidence that these readings get anything right when predicting the future. Instead, they often tell us what we want to hear. If this system works, how can numerologists account for the different languages and different alphabets? Calendars also pose a problem. Which date format do you use for these predictions? To think the universe is organized by numerical interpretations of names is crazy theory. What happens when someone changes their name? Is the universe changed? Are a new set of outcomes created each time this happens? It is true that much of the universe can be broken down to mathematical formula. 
These formulas can be studied, repeated or not. This scientific method confirming the existence of something in a controlled and demonstrable way. The universe and all its content are governed by mathematics but not necessarily controlled by it. Galileo saw nature as a written mathematical language but to leap to the idea that if a name is given a numerical value it can change or influence nature because numbers and math are being used is wrong. Numerology is a system of guesswork, a kind of method of cancelling like all forms of prediction. They are a way for people to talk through their hopes for the future and regrets from the past, a reading given to help the person concentrate on that future. These practices often need an object for people to focus on, a tangible link to the future. This comes in many shapes, a crystal ball, a bowl of water, animal bones and numbers. They are all the same, props and a show. We can all speculate on the future and these ideas are formulated by our pasts. We don't need these kooky methods. Now for my final prediction, 3 plus 6 plus 1 means you're going to hit that red button and subscribe. 6 minus 4 minus 0 tells me you will like and share. Thanks for watching. If the only question we need. Until next time.